Hello, this is John. Um, welcome back. Um, today I'm demonstrating how to create a custom title and how to save as a preset with the font and styles that you like so that you can use it over and over again. Um, I can do this on a still image or on a video clip. So I've got this one already open, but in Project Assets I have a couple of um, video clips as well. So I'm going to actually clear this um, timeline and bring in this particular video clip, close the project assets, and um, put the playhead back to the beginning. And then to create a custom title, I just need to go to the Quick Tools and click on the, the T tool and just click somewhere within the um, within the window. And then I can start typing something like um, my title template and um, click anywhere within the letters and press Command A on the Mac or Control A on the PC and that selects everything. And I can start to make some, adjust, uh, some adjustments in the titles and shapes panels. I'm going to change the the font to, to begin with. I want Myriad Pro, that's the one that I regularly use, which I like. And I want it to be straightforward, bold. There's bold. And I can change the size as well and uh, make it bigger. And then I'm going to go to Align and Transform and center it um, horizontally and then vertically. And um, having done that, I'm now going to go to um, Appearance and I'm going to give these letters a stroke. So I'm going to put a check mark in the box for stroke and then click in the color picker and choose black and click OK. And you can see that outlines the um, the white lettering with, um, with, a, with a black stroke. Um, I'm actually going to click on this 4.0 figure here and move it to the right so it just increases the the size of the um, stroke. It's just a, a scrubby slider and um, when I can get it working there we go and that's too much. I want something just like that. So I can click on the um, pointer tool or use the V um, key to, um, to take me back to the um, or to, to click off the, um, the T tool and let's close the um, the shapes and there's my um, there's my title with the um, with the white lettering and the 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 black outline. I'm going to show you how to save this so that you can use it over and over without having to redo all these um, styles um, individually. But I'm going to go to the right now and click on the effects control panel because I want to introduce a little bit of um, animation. And I'm going to do that with the um, with the scale. So I'm going to take the scale down, make it. I want it to come in quite small, something like that. And click on this little stopwatch here, which makes the first keyframe. And then I'm going to move the playhead into the about halfway in like that, and then bring the scale back up to 100. 101 will do for the purpose of this purpose of this video and then play to the um, uh, the end of the um, and we can stop it there because that's got everything in that we need so I close down now this effects control but let's just go back to the very beginning and see how this looks in practice so there we are we start with the title and it kind of zooms in quite um, quite gently with the video playing in the background so I will stop that and with this selected now, if I want to save this, I can right click on the uh, the, 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 the title um, on video two and choose export as motion graphics template. And I'll give it, a, I'll just call it um, my title template. You can um, give it any name you want. I mean, you may want to use the um, type of font or style as um, and as a reminder of what the template's actually doing but that's done now so I can um, I can close this down and um, I'll, I'll clear the um, the timeline and um, let's bring in another video and just show how we can um, how we can use this I'm going to bring this one from Scotland into the into the timeline and uh, move the playhead back to the beginning and I want the title to come in 
just after the first few frames. So if I go now to the uh, Titles panel and click on Templates, you can see my saved template is there at the top. So all I need to do now is drag it onto the video 2, where the playhead is, like that. And I can click on this um, T layer, and I can start to make modifications. And the beauty of this is that the template will always remain the same, but I can change the lettering to fit any video title that I, that, that, that I want. So with the T tool here selected, I can um, click into the um, text, and I'm going to just um, use the backspace to delete those letters. Need to get rid of that one, and then I can put fourth of first. This is in Scotland, and um, then I will click away from the T symbol onto the selection tool, or you can use the letter V if you if you prefer, and close this down. So let's go right back to the beginning, and we stop, and we'll play and. You can see this is the video playing and the text or the new text zooms in. So you can see how easy it is to modify your template. And I hope this will save you lots of time. This is just one of my quick tips. So thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.